Hi, this is Ed Crow. Uh, today I'm going to go over my Medicare bot. For those not familiar, my Medicare bot is a system that allows you to enroll Medicare prospects for Advantage in Part D through voice signature, so there's not an email or a text required to do so. Agents that work with Crone Associates or with Pinnacle have access to my Medicare bot at, at no cost. Currently, there are two carriers on the system that you can do voice signature enrollment for, and it's nice because it's the same process every time. Uh, they are Aetna and Humana, but they certainly are working on onboarding the other carriers, such as United, Cigna, uh, Blues Plans, uh, various other companies. So what I'm going to do today is give you a demonstration of how to log into the system to start, how to register, uh, and then a quick demo of how you would potentially go and enroll somebody through the system. So first thing we need to do is go to the website, and that website is yourmedicareresources.com forward slash yourmedicarebot. Okay, so agents that work with us or agencies that work with us, um, you are already set up in the system to be able to register. <clears throat> so to register, if you're a new user, you would do that down here, create account today. And just make note that there is an activation code. So your Medicare agent 2022 is the code. So if you needed to register, you would go on create an account today. You'd enter your last name, your NPN. The type is just either for an individual or a business, and then the activation code. If Using those things, if it won't let you register, then just call our office at 203-796-5403, and we'll get it set up uh, so you're in the system. But you should be automatically in there if you work with us. Um, that way you can access this, again, at no cost, uh, and get started. Now, I'm already registered in here, so I'm going to sign in instead. Uh, but one thing I'll show you first is this system, so it's for a new user, if you need to create your account, you do it here. If you already have an account, you would log in here. They do have a number of training videos, and you can if you click watch now, they'll give you videos on this entire system from start to finish. So how an agent would register, adding doctors. This does work very much like Connector and Sunfire, where you can quote and compare plans, add doctors, add medications, very similar system. The only difference is with my Medicare bot, you can do the enrollments via voice signature, whereas you can't do it that way on Connector or Sunfire. Connector and Sunfire rely on text and email enrollments. Uh, here, you'd be able to do the voice signature enrollment. But you can see they'll go through everything, adding doctors, the enrollment calls, the flow of the telephonic interview. Um, when you do this, it is all scripted, so it tells you what to say. And my Medicare bot will record these, obviously, if you're going to do a, a, a voice telephonic enrollment. It needs to be recorded, and that will do that automatically. So you don't have to buy any kind of separate system or any other software when you use this program. They also have demonstrations of comparing plans, Rx, the scope of appointment, which I'll, which I'll touch on. That's not, in my mind, where it needs to be at this point. I'll explain a little more later. Um, but for now, uh, let's go back, and I will log in. As you can see, the system automatically logged me in. Um, if it didn't do that, you'd see it'd be my username, which is your email, and then a password, which you create, and then I'll log in. Any new messages or updates, um, they'll give you this pop-up that will show you this. Um, I keep it so it shows me, so it keeps me up to date, but you can get rid of it if you want by clicking there. I do a number of demonstrations on here, so what we're going to do today is um, I'm going to add a new client. Um, but if you have existing clients you want to look up to see status or just look up their information, you can do that by searching by name, state, and you can also disposition all of these leads. This does operate as a basic CRM, again, very similar to Connector and Sunfire, where you can keep information, doctor's list, drug lists, and it will also keep all, you know, everything that you've done in the system, such as if you've completed a scope, it'll keep that. If you've done an enrollment, it'll show the you know, the information that you've received, it'll show you the recording uh, and show what plan you've enrolled the person into. But for our purposes today, uh, I'm going to add a new client. I'll add myself. Um, and I'm just going to change the zip code because, as I said, this system right now, they have Aetna and Humana on here. As you'll see, the system will quote and compare all the plans. 
It'll only allow you to do the voice signature, however, with Edna and Humana, uh, but they are adding more carriers, and they should have them onboarded fairly soon. So what I'll do is I'll add a zip code that has both Aetna and Humana plans available so I can show you. All right. It would, don't forget, ask the extra help question. If your client gets extra help, such as uh, maybe they're a QMB level or full Medicaid, uh, you can add that here, and it will re be reflected when you search the drugs. Um, it'll be reflected in the cost that it shows the prospect paying um, on any given plan. I'll say that they don't get any extra help for our purposes here. Save the changes. Okay, so we'll hit next. Here's the scope, and this is where I wanted to talk when I said I didn't think the system was where it needed to be yet. They are currently working on getting a voice scope. Obviously, if you want to do enrollments through here and you're using the system, you want to do voice enrollments. As many of you know, if you have a dual client, sometimes they can access a uh, an email or a text, and you want to do a pure voice enrollment for them. Um, so it just would make sense to be able to do the scope that way. Uh, they are working on the, getting the voice authorization for the scope. Right now, however, it is either an email or a text. Uh, I'd strongly suggest you text it. You just would put their phone number in, and it will text them then the scope. It is very easy. Uh, you can text this to yourself to try it out. Uh, it's really simple. You click on the text, add some very basic information, it's step by step, and then they just submit it. When the scope is submitted, it will reflect that in the system that a scope has been submitted. I'll click send. It just texted me the scope, and again, it's very easy to fill out, um, simple to do. And if it doesn't slow us down too much here, I will do it really quick so you can show that it's been completed. Okay, so just giving me a couple options. Uh, I got my name. I'll put in my phone number. Okay. Let's say I agree. It's asking for a typed in electronic signature, and I will submit it. Okay, so my scope was submitted. If I refresh, It'll say, here it'll say the scope has been signed, and I just was in a hurry, so I, collect, I checked off MA only. So my scope's been done and completed and reflected here for MA. We'll hit next. Here's where I can add medications. I'll just do a couple basic ones. I'll do a Torvastatin. Um, you can, just like in Connector and Sunfire, you can choose the, the dosage, the quantity, the frequency. Um, if there is a generic available, a Torvastatin is a generic itself, but if this was a name brand drug with a generic available, it would ask me to choose that. It would ask me if I want to choose that generic. I'll add that drug. I'll do one quick that doesn't have a generic, like Eliquis. So there is no generic for Eliquis. I'll change it to 2.5, add. And then I'll do a drug that does have a common generic, which is Synthroid's a good one. And level thyroxine will come up as an option, so do I want to use the generic? Yes, and I'll add it. So I've added three drugs. I hit next. It's going to ask me to pick a pharmacy here. Um, I will use CVS, so I've added my pharmacy. And here's where you can add doctors. Uh, for our purposes today, I won't add the doctor list. I think you get the idea. But if you add doctors, um, you can put as many in as you'd like. Then when you compare the plans, it will show out of the doctor list you've created, out of all the different plans, how many of those doctors are in network on any given plan. I'll click Finish. Over here, if you notice, there's a toggle switch. You can do non-SNP plans or SNPs. I'll go non-SNPs, but if you click the SNP button, it's going to show you dual eligible plans. And again, when you run this, it's going to show you multiple carriers. Um, so Aetna, for example, you can do voice signature with um, in Humana. It's going to show those first. Um, but then you'll get into carriers where they don't have it set up yet. They don't have the approval yet, like United Healthcare, WellCare, um, Connecticare, uh, for example, and Care Partners. Um, it'll show them. But like Sunfire, this will give you the comparison. You can compare the plans if you'd like. You can see plan details. 
It will show you how much the drugs would cost uh, for the year on this plan. As you can see, the Aetna Elite came out at 935 for the year on drug costs um, versus, uh, let's see, the Humana plan. Obviously, they don't like Eliquis. They probably wanted Xarelto instead because they're showing about $2,000 for drug cost, or maybe they wanted a different pharmacy. Um, although now that I look, CVS is preferred with Humana. So that's probably the difference between choosing Eliquis as opposed to Xarelto. Um, Humana might have come out a lot better in that case. Let's just compare the two of them. We'll pick two. Okay. I'll compare the plans, as you can see at the bottom. And here are the plans. Show me basic information if I wanted to add doctors, because I chose not to before. I could do that here. Um, and it shows the star rating, plan details. I can quote, if I choose to quote and enroll, I have to save the quote first, so I'll save it. So I've chosen the Aetna Medicare Essential Elite Plan, and I'm going to enroll the person. Okay, a few things. Um, first of all, they give you the script up top, and as you go along, it will adjust for every screen that you're on and tell you what to say. Um, there is recording software in here. You do have to record telephonic enrollments. This will do that. Um, and then at the bottom, they will give you notes for the agent. There's an option to test your headset uh, because I'm using a speaker on this call on this webinar. Hopefully, it won't echo on us. But as you can see, the way I test it is when I talk, it makes the speaker move and show that I'm talking. So we know that it's working. Okay, so up here it gives you the script, uh, and it will tell you that, and keep in mind, with Medicare, when you're doing telephonic enrollment, it has to be an inbound call. So it's going to give you a couple options. It's going to say, first of all, if you want, you can text if you'd like the phone number for them to call you back on um, and the enrollment code. It'll give you that option here. If they can't text, then what you'll ask them is if, and it's going to explain this down here, but if they can't text, then what it's going to ask you is, it's going to tell you to have, tell them to have a paper and pen available. So when you give them the phone number and the enrollment code, uh, when you send them the, the invite to call, you can send it to their cell phone or they can just call you if they hang up and call. Um, that they have the phone number to call and the enrollment code. So after I've talked to the person, uh, they're ready to receive the call from me, um, or I'm rather, I'm ready to receive the call. I click this button, and it's all internal. So when I click this button, it's going to make sure that the system is ready. It usually takes a few seconds. It's going to make sure that the system is ready to receive an inbound call. Okay, so I'm awaiting the client's call. Now, Here's the telephonic enrollment number I would give them and the code. So you could either have them write it down when you speak to them, or if you'd like, you can text it to them. So if I text it, put in their cell phone number for the text. And I just texted them the link. But again, you could just give them that same number over the phone if you'd like. Um, and once you give them that number, they can call in. If it was a text, they'll just click on the text to enroll. Or maybe I gave it to them over the phone. They can call me back, which I'll do right now for my cell. So I'm acting like the client right now. I'm, I'm calling in. It's going to ask for the code in a minute. So in a second, it will ask me to enter the code. Okay, now it's asking me to enter the code, so I'll do that. One, zero. Six nine zero. Okay, 
all right, now they're connecting my call. So I've either given the client the information to write down to call me back or I've texted it to them and you can see the call coming in. I will accept it. And now I'm on. So I'm on the line with the client. I can move on. I hit next. And again, it's all scripted. So it's going to tell me what to say. You're going to ask them if they acknowledge the recording. I'll say yes. Go to next. And then it's going to ask basic questions. Um, I won't complete it any further in this. I don't want to do an enrollment. But it's going to ask basic questions that you need to put in the telephonic enrollment. It will record the whole thing. And then at the end, um, they verify that they want to enroll, and you've enrolled them in the plan. Pretty basic system, pretty easy to use. Uh, you know, obviously, you need them to make the inbound call, so that's important to give them the phone number and the enrollment code or to text it to them or both um, so they can call you. And as you then do that, you'll fill out their, on the phone, you'll go over the contact information, talk about the plan, if they're eligible, payment if there is any. If it's a zero premium, there wouldn't be any. Um, they attest that they want to enroll in the plan. And once they do that verbally, uh, then the summary will say complete, uh, and you can they'll be enrolled in the plan. So it's pretty easy to use um, once you get used to that inbound call piece of it. And it's nice because you can do a verbal enrollment that way. Again, remember, if you want to go in, there are training videos on this. If you try to register and can't, call us at 203-796-5403. Um, because everybody working with us can can register, but maybe if if you if you have trouble, maybe we just need to make a quick call and get you make sure you're set up in the system to to register. Again, if you have any questions, please feel to give us a call 203-796-5403. Appreciate you coming on today, and I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.